again, this is Antonio, and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. In this video, I would like to start off by saying this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, if you're not prepared uh, to invest in the company on the dip, you might you you probably want to consider getting the index funds. There's nothing wrong with index funds, but um, sometimes the, the stocks I discuss. Um, basically, if I see the news, I report the news. And this stock definitely caught my attention. It's definitely a stock that I considered um, investing in. So I'm going to give the pros and cons about this stock. Um, if you ever uh, consider getting into a stock, I believe that this company is starting to make moves. They definitely don't want to stay in the position that they're at. And uh, yes, this stock is a penny stock. But um, nobody want to stay in a penny stock uh, level forever. So uh, this is a cannabis stock and they call themselves Sugar Buds Craft Growers. Sugar Bud is an Alberta based consumer driven boutique craft cannabis company focused on the cultivation and production of superior self batch craft cannabis products. Our vision and our mi and mission are to become a trusted and well-respected uh, consumer brand renowned for uh, providing exceptional high-quality craft cannabis products to legal markets by delighting the most discerning of cannabis uh, consumers. And as you see, this stock is trading at a point uh, with five cents and it's up currently at 11.11%. Oh, I would like to also say do not invest in any companies that you haven't done any research in just because you see a person on the Internet doing uh, uh, reporting about a company that has potential. So I don't want you to invest in this company and come back to me and say, I lost it all. Do your research. And that's the purpose why I will continue to do videos on different stock uh, companies. Especially I will continue doing stock companies like Sugar Bud. All right, so let's talk about some of the moves that this company has made. And uh, this article is from May 19, 2021. Sugar Bud announces second, second consecutive positive EBITDA. And that's uh, this is coming from uh, M, uh, MinaFN.com. Uh, All right, so Sugar Bud, uh, Sugar Bud Craft Gross Corp is pleased to announce, to announce that the company has recorded its second consecutive uh, quarterly positive EBITDA result in quarter one of 2021 and the fulfilling of its unaudited condensed consolidate, uh, consolidated intern financial uh, statements from the three months ended March 31st, 2021 and related management Discussion and analysts, Sugar Buzz financial statements and MD and A are available on SEDAR at and on Sugar Buzz website. So let's talk about some things about the company. Uh, this is not a very large company, uh, but they're striving to um, get bigger. I think they have like 18 employees. So they're not a big, big uh, company, but they are, they, they, I believe that they can get there. Sugar Bug continued the growth of top line sales in quarter one, 2021. Net revenue for the quarter ending March 31st, 2021 was $518,016, which represents a 50% increase of quarter four, 2020, uh, 2020. The company shipped 80, uh, 78, 626 grams of dry cannabis in quarter one, 2021 compared to 52 grams in quarter four 2020 cross products before fair market value adjusted was 24 percent in quarter one uh we're not going to go through all of this but we're going to we're going to discuss some more of this sugar bud bucked the industry wide trend of average selling price declines in quarter one 2021 evidence at it it focused on total quality and value and prime craft sector to, to, is aligned with consumer e expectations and demand. Average net selling price per gram remains stable quarter one 2021 at $6.59 uh, per gram, up marginally 
five cents from a net uh, ASP six dollars and fifty four uh, cents in quarter four. So basically, you see that the company, and uh, you can go to this site and you can read more of this. I'm not going to sit here and read everything, um, but let's talk about some of the moves that they are making. And this article is from May 17th. And this um, may entice you to possibly think about getting into this company. Um, uh, they're out of Calgary, Alberta. And what they're saying is uh, Sugar Butter is pleased to announce that as part of its fundamental commitment to quality in co collaboration with uh, uh, Cinemetrics, the company has expanded consumer access to lot batch level quality information of their products with the launch of Know Your Sugar Bud. And I'm going to read some more of this, but basically what this is saying is the company is it doesn't want to stay on the ground floor level. The company definitely want to expand. It's only a matter of time before uh the the lightning the lightningness of medical marijuana or marijuana hemp CBD these type products is definitely going to keep a uh, bearing its head in this market and um and sugar buds want to be a uh, part of that group is sugar bud is very proud of the quality of our products and return our commitment to consumer transparency and satisfaction. As an early partner and adaptator of the Cinemetrics Producer Connect platform, we are very pleased to be expanding our scope and reach to consumers by providing detailed certificate of analysis information on our release lots batch to all Sugar Bud. A consumer stated Sugar Bud President and CEO John Kondorski. The Cinemetrics Producer Connected platform exists to empower producers to be transparent and earn the trust and loyalty of retailers and consumers. As a producer of excellent products, Sugar Bud wanted to directly demonstrate quality in a way that everyone can trust. And we are happy to build them in a solution. We are excited to help leaders like Sugar Bud take trust and transparency to the next level and are confident that our consumers and retailers alike will re uh, reward them for it, said Cinemetrics co-founder and CEO, Eric Jacobson. So the way I suggest you play this product is to basically uh, put two to $300 in a product like this. They're already up 11% um, and see how it goes. That's just my opinion. Uh, like I said, it's not financial advice. You can start off low, but this company is already up 11% from uh, the stock is already up 11%. So if they keep making uh, positive changes to the company, it's only a matter of time before a company like this goes from five uh, cents to 10 cents. And this stock has a potential to double. So uh, to at least 10 cents. So imagine if you put 300 in the, the, the uh, stock double. Now you're sitting with six hundred dollars. It's better than putting it in your savings account. Now that's just my opinion. Uh, I see the news or report the news. Uh, please like, comment, and share. Uh, do your research before you put money in any co uh, any company. Like I said again, and um, I will see you in the next video as I see the news, report the news on up and coming companies, blue chip companies. Or companies that you probably want to be uh, hesitant, uh, even big companies that you want to have a little hesitation in before you invest. So once again, this is Antonio with Team Tigio, and I will see you next time.